Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. Again, my name is Jeffrey Davis. I want to thank everyone involved with the show. Uh, we're having a great time talking to entrepreneurs today. And uh, our next guest is Paul Corrigan from ROI Corporation. And uh, what is ROI Corporation? Corporation? And welcome, Paul. Well, thank you, Jeff. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. ROI Corporation is a business brokerage firm. We've been in business um, approximately uh, 12 years. We help people uh, buy and sell businesses, uh, which is in some ways a lot like a real estate agent, but uh, can be a little more complex because selling a business is a very emotional thing for most people. It's been their baby for 30 years, and we help them through that process. So uh, what types of businesses are you selling? We, we run the gamut from um, uh, your liquor stores, your restaurants, your convenience stores, all the way up to uh, large distribution manufacturing firms. Personally, I tend to concentrate on uh, service firms, manufacturing, and, and distribution. Right. But we've actually gone as far as selling uh, exotic car rentals and even escort agencies. Uh, how long have you been in business? Uh, ROI's been in business since 2005. I joined. I was a financial planner private previously, and I have been there since 2007. So almost uh, eight years. Eight years. And how many people are in the firm? Uh, right now, we're about eight uh Eight people, uh, six brokers, uh, two support staff, and uh, when we actually have an office down in Georgia now. A woman uh, went online, found us, liked our, liked, our, liked our image, liked the way we presented ourselves, and became our first uh, branch office. Tell me your background go going into the firm. What, what, what's your experience? Well, I've had, I've had my own business, which always helps. Uh, you'll find in our industry, we tend to be a lot of gray, old, grumpy men. Uh, they're not a lot. I haven't of, seen the grumpy part yet. There you go. But uh, it tends to be uh, people who are experienced, uh, business owners who want to sell, tend to be in their 50s and 60s. They like to talk to someone who's had some experience, someone who's been there, owned their own business. And I remember walking one day to work and said, if I have to sell my car to meet payroll on Friday, I'll sell my car. And so they appreciate the struggle that it takes to be an entrepreneur. I was a, I was a financial planner. Uh, before I joined this business here, had several clients who wa thought their son was going to take over the business. He, the son wanted to design, oh, I don't know, sexy video games. Didn't want to work in daddy's uh, dirty old mill, but daddy was uh, producing 500000 a year in cash flow. And so the son didn't want the business, so he came to me and said, I need to sell my business. I went to ROI a couple of times and said, I have a client who needs to sell his business. Mm -hmm. One day I said, tell me more about how being a business broker works, and I got fascinated with it and joined in uh, 2007. Right. You know, a lot of uh, companies I meet say to me uh, they want to sell their business, but they don't want to use a broker. They want to do it on their own. You want to address that whole case study? Well, of, of course, the, the big question is, is the commission. We work on a success fee. So again, a lot like a real estate agent, we don't get our commission unless the, the deal closes. It's a very long and bumpy road. We tell people it takes, you need to be prepared to uh, spend about a year selling your business. Our job as brokers is to help s with the sale of the business while you, as the business owner, keep your eye on the ball, keep the sales up, keep the revenue up, because if you begin to let sales falter, then the value of the business is going to drop and it can become a downward spiral. So we, uh, do, are we worth what we get paid in our commission? I think the answer is definitely yes. What about uh, comparative pricing, you know, s selling yourself versus using a broker? Do you, is there a part of that answer that you want to address as well? Well, the big question there is what is your business worth? And a lot of owners have a wildly different, differing opinions as to what their business is worth. Some think it's worth zero. And I've seen, say, a print shop. Guy turned off the lights, shut the door, and walked away, and he let all of those customers flit away. So is it worth more than zero? Absolutely. Typically, of course, most business owners, they've spent 30 years, they think their business is worth. And a lot of times I, bl I blame the financial planners for this because the financial planners say, you need $2 million to retire. The business owner says, my business is worth, uh, my business is my retirement. Therefore, after 20 years, he begins to think, my business is worth $2 million. I'm here to tell you that may yeah, or may not be the case. Most of those numbers come out of some emotional. Come out of some emotional, emotional background. And right. I'm here to tell you what the, f what the feet on the street are actually going to bring you. If somebody wanted to know more about these things, uh, Paul, how would they find you at ROI? Uh, you can reach me at P. Corrigan, P-C-O-R-R-I-G-A-N, at ROI Business Brokers, with an S, dot com. Or you can reach me directly at 617-320-4812. Uh,